Good morning, modern standards. Wait, good morning, beautiful people. Wait, that's not it either. Bernice, good morning, Bernice. You too, Bernice. You too. We have feed coming in. Our first big order of feed, which is 3,000 pounds. We bought more pig feed. The good stuff this time. 2,000 pounds. We have an electric winch, a block and tackle, or a chain hoist, one ton chain hoist. Which would you choose? Hey pigs, they're eating their food. Look at that tarp. They're ripping that tarp to shreds. Today is not your day to move. We have too many things going on this week. Uh, I might move them after we put Beefy Boy in the freezer because that's another thing we're doing. Uh, so that means we're just making our way down to the barn, trying to move in there so that way we could do it down there. Just like last time, you know, we did the bigger beefy boy in December, and this is exactly how we do it. We just move them, move them down there, and then hoist them up. I have a, I have a Kubota here. Look at that. It's not mine. It's my neighbor's. He had nowhere to put it, and he's like, can I leave it there, and you could use it if you want to. Now that I have a tractor sitting here, I'm like, well, I don't know if I have a use for it right now. I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could move this reel all the way down. Hook it like straight to where that step-in post is at. We're gonna move them in this spot for now, and then later tonight we'll probably move them again so that way we won't have to move them in the morning since that's when we're butchering him tomorrow. And then um, I'm just making sure we have enough step-in posts to do that. My father-in-law and mother-in-law are here to help us. We enjoy their company and their great help. Some of the stuff that it's hard to do it by just us three. The plan was we were gonna move them all the way to the barn this morning. But then I got the email that the feed should come today. We need to still unload the feed and we need to have room for that before we move him, the beefy boy, down to the barn. It's really starting to look like spring now. I mean, we're supposed to get in the 80s this week. Lock that in place. He wants to be nosy. Come on. You can move. And now we just move this over so that way we don't have to move his water and dump all that water out. I'm learning. You know, we're learning here. After doing this a year, you learn the little tiny tricks. No dumping the water. Just move the line over a little bit. I think I am going to miss seeing, seeing our steers out on grass you know just looking out the window and just seeing them out there it's, it's kind of neat but you know this is why we raise them is to put in our freezer and to grow good food for our family then we gotta wind those up you know and then we'll we'll eventually get more beefy boys and do it over again we're making biscuits this morning all right what are you making biscuits what kind of biscuits are these um buttermilk biscuits after we do the chores we come in Eat breakfast as a family. Eggs. What's that? What's all else is in here? Sausage. Egg sausage. We got to. We have to load up the mower to take to the dealer to have it fixed, and then we we're just kind of waiting on the feed, waiting to get that phone call where it's ready. And then we had to go right away and go get it. There's another one somewhere here. We have a, this tree stump, wire, this is electrical. We're gonna hook up to this electrical box, but we got this stump in the way. We have water there. Yeah. That's like a horrible spot. Yep. That tree was tearing up the roof here. And I, that's one of the first things I did was tear this, this tree down. <laughs> Before our grass starts growing, and uh, things get real busy. My mower 
is I guess it broke. It didn't break really. It's just the the handle, the brake handle is hard to pull up and put down. Since I haven't even had this gravely for a year, uh, they said just to bring it in, it's under warranty, and they could fix it. I pulled it up so hard that it broke the bolt in half. <laughs> and then just over time, over time it's just, um, you know, just getting harder and harder to pull up. And I, they said it could be this spring right here that just needs to be taken apart and lubricated. That barely fit. Look at this. It took off some of that red paint. Perfect. I think we just found our first job with this tractor. I couldn't think of a job. What do I need this tractor for now that I could use it because my neighbor let me borrow it. We're gonna try to take out this stump with it. That's the underneath the stump and goes up to here. <laughs> I don't know. That's a big old stump. It is. Right. It's pretty quiet. It sounds like a little little car. I'm trying to figure out where to strap that chain to. Yeah, it's not doing anything. <laughs> it's not even budging that root. Um, probably need to cut it or something. Maybe cut it? Cut that root. Just cut that in half right there. Yeah, this thing's not even budging that big old root. So maybe we just need to keep hacking away at it. We're just chipping away at it around the edges and it's just not budging even with the tractor. We're cutting around it even inside the, we're finding little roots or big roots. Derek, with tractor supply. Derek. Uh, got two power my boy Derek at Tractor brought, Supply. Never said he didn't have your number to let you know, so I figured I'd give you a ring. Uh, let me know if you want to come get him today or uh, if you got plans. Feeds here, guys. Um, they'll be here, brother. We'll see you. Yep. Bye. All right, now we're back of Tractor Supply picking up our feed. Let's see where it's at. All right, tractor supply guys. These guys have helped me so much all last year and this year. They just let me deliver my feed here. Here it is right here. 2,000 pounds and then 1,000 pounds of pig feed. This is the good stuff. No more messing around. So these pins right here, they don't slide off. This is welded together, so I can't take this off. And I've, every time we come and you know they deliver it or load it on here, uh, you know if they have to put on the extenders of the, the forklift. I've learned that you can just fold it in. So they're just basically having it delivered here and then loading it on my trailer. So I'm thinking if you put it like in the middle between the two wheels, just part way on the gate. 
Yeah, it's gonna be okay. like halfway on. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's good. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you back in a few minutes. Yes. Now we gotta strap it down and then go home, unload it, and then come back and do it again. You know, this tractor that I have, it's it's not gonna lift 2,000 pound tote. It's not big enough. So I think the max is maybe like 1,200 pounds. Plus I don't have pellet forks for it or anything like that. Concrete and a pellet jack. Man, I don't know what I'd do without you. Yeah, we we'll probably should empty the bags in here. Empty? Yeah. So these are uh, chick starter feed. And we're gonna feed these to our baby chicks when we get them our broiler, broiler chickens before we put them on the grower feed. Yeah, you pull one in. There you go. <laughs> we have an electric winch, a block and tackle, or a chain hoist, one ton chain hoist. Which would you choose? Thousand pound tote of feed. And we just want to lift it up, set it on the concrete, and then roll it back with the pallet jack. We're going to try this block and tackle, just because it's new. This will give us some practice too for Beefy Boy, because we're going to be hoisting him tomorrow morning. The good thing about these totes is that they already have these straps in there. Just hooked up a carabiner to it. I don't think so, Jason. No. I can't. Oh man. Yeah, this block and tackle can um, hoist up two thousand pounds. But can we lift it? Yeah, there's no way we're gonna lift that. They make it look so easy on the directions it came with. Let's try option number two. A one ton chain hoist. There we go. <clears throat> Going up. Oh, it's taking it off the pallet. I thought the pallet would take well, would come with it. It but. did come with it, but the shrink wrap's coming off. So okay. I'll hold it sure. up while you back it up. Back it. Going good. Yeah. Go. Always have a backup to the backup. I was really hoping the block and tackle would work. That's what I was thinking I was going to use for Beefy Boy tomorrow. I don't think anymore. So we still got to shovel this into barrels, but we're just loading it off for now so that we can go get the other 2,000 pounds. All right, we're back. At Tractor Supply, ready to pick up the 2,000 pounds. Uh, yeah. We folded it in this time. It probably worked better. Probably it, worked it, works, it works better. Uh, that's Derek from Tractor Supply. Thanks, Derek. I appreciate your help on this. Ah, great help. Damn. This feed is our broiler meat chicken feed. You know, I say meat chicken a lot here because I don't want there to be any confusion. Because if you just say chicken feed, you assume egg ladder feed. But this is 2,000 pounds of broiler feed because we have 75 meat chickens coming. Ah. All right, 2,000 pound tote. You think we could uh, hoist it up? Let's do it. Alright. 
how we typically do it is just leave it on the trailer and then bring the barrels to it and then we just shovel out the feed but i figured let's just try something new see how well this works we still have some of the other pelleted pig feed the ones that they're they're not crazy about so i'm thinking this this is the good pig feed i'm gonna just mix the two and i really think it's because i switched feeds on them so when you switch feeds it happens to chickens too that they just don't like change so by bucking it in this way the barrels are going to protect it from critters rats raccoons possums i've seen them in here and also rain moisture it doesn't get moldy in these barrels uh, and to fill up one barrel it should take us three minutes randy <laughs> we're already outgrowing our our feed area here i'm already thinking about bringing another feed shed in but we don't have any more barrels to fill all this feed in so we're we don't get confused here I made labels, chick starter feed, pig feed, pig, pig, those two are egg layer feed. And we still have that big giant tote that I'm just gonna leave that wrapped up for now. Because once we open up that plastic, it's gonna be even more exposed to the elements and critters, but it's kind of wrapped up. So it should be okay for a short time. It's getting late and uh, it's about dinner time, but we still need to set up for tomorrow morning because we're butchering beefy boy which means we need to get our portable cooler and we need to turn that thing around. <clears throat> okay, cool. Got it? Yeah. We finally made it inside. <laughs> it's already dark, but Beefy Boy has been moved. We still need to sharpen knives for tomorrow. We've got salad and then i've got some fried rice with un with un like it's like a grilled onion and then we're putting chicken on top and then i made this tzatziki sauce okay so we've got pickled onions to kind of lay on top and then we've got this tzatziki sauce it's really good it's like greek food it is <laughs> so thank you guys for watching big day tomorrow uh putting a big big beef in the freezer so stay stay tuned for that video and i uh, will see you guys on the next one